please welcome Mr. Max Alexander, right here. Sit down, sit down, sit, sit. <laughs> How are you? Let me put this over here, you'll see me better. Oh, I love being here. This is great, the Sahara Hotel. It, uh, well, one little problem, the maids here have an attitude. Uh, this morning, the maid knocked on the door and said she has to come in and clean up. So I let her in, she took a shower and went home. It, uh... <laughs> and I am stuffed, I tell you. Yeah. I can't eat anymore. I don't care how cheap it is. Uh, oh. And the what was it? Was it warm enough for you out here tonight? God. Oh. If you could live in Vegas, you might as well go to hell after you die. I woke up this morning at 7.30. I had a buffet to go to. <laughs> you don't throw that coupon away, don't you? No. It was 104 degrees there, 7.30 in the morning. And you, you locals that live here, you're wonderful people. The best people live here, but yeah. <laughs> But, when it comes to the weather, you don't, have a, you don't have a clue. You live in the middle of the desert. I go, it's 104 degrees, 7.30 in the morning. This is wrong. They go, yeah, but did you notice? No humidity? Mm, no. I noticed small farm animals exploding in front of me. <laughs> and I haven't had spit since Tuesday. <laughs> Nothing comes out. I'm like a cat with a hairball. <laughs> you go home, people, where were you? Vegas! You don't have spit, no! And I love this town, it's great. I uh, we'll played a little, little games. Uh, I don't gamble well. First machine today, I lost $134. Yeah, it was a candy machine. Uh, <laughs> I thought I had a system. Uh, I tried. But, uh, it's just great being here. And Jerry was mentioning Canada. Yeah, welcome Canada. Canada is a great place. We should go to Canada. We forget it's a foreign country. Because they look like us, they sound like us. It's like America light. <laughs> I got my first speeding ticket up there. So you got to be careful because they have kilometers per hour, which is double miles per hour. No one told me that. I cross the border, I see signs, speed limit, 110. <laughs> I'm cruising. I saw a sign, school zone, slow down to 60. <laughs> the least I could do. <laughs> Very fast children. <laughs> Canada's great. I'm doing so many things this year. It has been exciting. I'm trying to lose a little weight. Um, but it's not working. I love tea cookies. Doctor says, instead of cookies, why don't you try a rice cake instead? Ooh, yummy, yummy. Well, they're very good with fudge on them. Have you tried it that way? Oh. Excellent, excellent. And I tried everything. I tried the Valium diet. <laughs> You've been on that one. For breakfast, you take four Valium. The rest of the day, the food keeps falling out of your mouth. That's uh, yeah.
The worst one was the grapefruit diet. That one, the, that <laughs> grapefruit diet. After a week, I had 172 grapefruits. Every time I go to the bathroom, I'd squirt myself in the eye. It was most... <laughs> because I want to lose weight, I have to shop at the big and tall man shop, because I'm tall. <laughs> Salesman comes over to me and goes, you know, we have jogging suits in your size. I said, why? They, they have a, a cologne for the big man. It smells like a donut. And as I'm leaving, I go to the checkout, they have edible panties. You see, it's edible panties in my size. On the box it says, there's a family of four. You've been terrific, thank you. Alexander, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be a big, big star in this business. You watch. <laughs> the candy machine. <laughs> now you oh, can be okay. entertained by what is known as the wildest. When you think of musical excitement here in Las Vegas, you always think of my next guests, my good friends, Sam Butera and the wildest. Here they are. I will gather stars out of the blue For you, little girl, for you And I'll take a string of pearls out of the dew Baby, for you, little girl So there's your river in the noonday sun Linger in the shade of a kind old tree Throw away your worries, baby Dream a dream with me There's your river where the robin song Wakes up bright no morning And we can walk along Blue skies above I'm the one in love Oh, the lazy, lazy, lazy Lazy, crazy river, baby, you and me. Oh, up a lazy 
Dream a dream with me. Up a lazy river where the robin song wakes a bright new morning and we can loaf along. Blue skies above. I'm the one in love. For oh, the lazy, 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 crazy river, baby. Now you who went lazy river, the lazy river, the lazy river. Up and up, up and up, up. So, river, dip, 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 dip. So, river, dip, 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 dip. So, River, 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 all oh, the lazy river where the old river runs. I meet some lazy river in the noonday sun, linger in the shade of a kind old tree. Go away, your way. If a dream would be lazy river, where the robin song wakes up bright new morning, we can loaf along. Blue skies above, I'm the one in love. Oh, the lazy, 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 crazy river, 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 river. Hear it for him, everybody. Don't go away because in the next hour of the Muscular Dystrophy Association, Jerry Lewis. Hey, here's Jerry. Here's Jerry. I don't know, Clay. Debbie went to find him. Four, three. Well, uh, I think he wanted. Go ahead. Yeah, I think he wanted music out there somewhere. Wait, wait. He's just gonna no. deal a second card. Wait. Go ahead. The second card is all I want to see if I get blackjack. That's it. That's it. I got it. I'll take this. That's that. I'll take that. For twenty-one, I'll take a little of that. Some of those. I have friends here. It's all right. Look, did you ever see a, a casino manager thrilled to death? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I made a fortune. Yes, I'm, I'm going. What? I don't know how much, but there's, a, there's, enough, there's enough for you and me to go to Motel 6, baby. If I can get you away from the, guy, the nine guys in the crew, <laughs> you'll get yours. Are we still together? What do I do with this bucket of money? I'd like you to know that uh, I am in the presence of uh, Ava Mataya. How do you pronounce M A T A Y A? Right, Mataya. Mataya. Very good. Ava Mataya is a champion pool player, or say pool shooter, is that correct? Pool player. Pool player in the world. One of the greatest lady pool players in the world. And we're delighted and thrilled that she is here. The Brunswick Corporation gave me the most beautiful cue that I'm not going to use. I won't waste it tonight. But are you going to show us something, I'm gonna Ava? I'm going to show you a couple of trick shots, Jerry. OK. What we're going to happen here is we're going to pocket two balls in one. The yellow ball, the one, is going to go in this corner pocket, the five in that corner pocket. We're going to have to jump over the balls and through the triangle to get to them, OK? You have to jump over these balls through the triangle to put the yellow ball in this pocket and the orange ball in that pocket? Right. I'd be interested in seeing this arrangement. OK. Like that. Yeah. 
Did you want to try it, Jerry? I have to admit, it looked like luck. <laughs> okay, let me do one more for you then. Yes, I would See like... See if I can convince you here. Show me another one, because that was very good what you did. Thank you. We're going to try to make three balls this time. Three? Three balls. The green ball and the black ball, both in this corner pocket. Okay. The, the red ball, the three, will come across and go in this corner pocket. Okay. Black okay. eight, green six. Right. Okay. Red three. Like that. So far, so good here. Let me try you another one. We'll step it up a little bit and we'll go to try to make five balls in one. 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 That should certainly be some achievement. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> see if you can follow this here. The seven ball and the six ball will go in this pocket. That's the green and the brown ball. The one ball will go one cushion across in the side pocket. The two ball will come down in this corner, and the nine ball will go in the opposite corner. You're a crazy lady, you know that. <laughs> Either that or you have made a fortune. Uh, I'll prefer the thing of the latter there. Okay. Okay, we'll try to make all five in one. Incredible. Jerry, would you like to try a shot? Yes, I, I, I'd, like, I'd like to try a shot. Actually, uh, I will let the balls go just where they land. I need one more so that they... And if you notice, I'm not setting them anywhere. I'm just letting them go where they land. Can I have my uh, cue, please? Okay. Now, if, uh, what happened? Did we scratch the cue ball? We scratched the cue We ball. scratched, is it there? Remember, scratches don't count when you're playing gotcha. trick shots, okay? Now, <laughs> the 10 ball will go into this left corner. The uh, 11 ball will go straight ahead, and the 13 will go in the corner that you're looking at. Okay, I have complete faith in you here. It almost went in! <laughs> that ball almost went in! We have to try this. I'm gonna set up a shot for you, Jerry. Oh, okay. Okay? An amazing shot. It probably won't come up all that often in a game of pool, okay? Well, I've seen guys laying on the table, but... <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I remember him. <laughs> Can you do me a favor, Jerry, and put that 10 ball hanging on this, that side of the very center? No, side pocket. Side pocket. Hang here? Right. Okay. You don't want to take no chances. Hmm. Balance is off today. Okay. I need you to come over here. Okay. On this side. All what right. What you're going to do here... We're going to see Jerry make three balls in one shot. He's going to pocket the 10 ball in this, cor in this side pocket, the 13 ball in the same side pocket, put extreme back English on the 11 ball and make that in that side pocket. Okay? I'm going to do that? You're going to do this. You're a crazy woman, I told you. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, well, <laughs> what, uh, what, do I aim, what do I aim at? Okay, your main objective My is to pocket the 10. Oh, that's all I should really be shooting With for. good speed, with good speed, and hit a little bit on this side of the 10. Almost straight on with good speed. Good speed. Hey! Very good. Now, you know, Ava, I did, I did a trick um, in a film called The Family Jewels, and I did a pool room scene when I was playing uh, one of the characters who was in the pool room. And uh, are, they, are they ready with that footage? Yeah, yeah. Debbie? What? We Cla have it. Is Clay got it? Yeah, he's ready. Yeah, but I want Ava to see it too. I don't have a monitor. Ah, yes, you do. There? 
Okay, Ava, you can I see can it right it. here. Right here. Okay. I'll show you the shot I made that uh, Louis Moscone taught me to make for the shot. It was not right. movie magic. I made the shot in the Family Jewels. Watch this. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you very much. I do have one more shot. You have one more shot? I would shot? really like to do, yes. Okay. Okay. First of all, I'd like to uh, see, make sure that you're all paid up on your dental insurance. Yes. Okay. Then we'll go, go proceed right ahead. Okay. We need somebody to take this cue, please. And I need you to sit up right here on the table. S sit here. Okay. Facing with your legs the other way. There okay. you go. And I need you to lay down. I beg your pardon? I love this shot. I need you to lay down. Okay. Scoot back even more to where your head is touching the rail, but not on top of it. It's touching the rail. Yeah, for, for too far. Too far. Down. Not on top of it. Okay. Come over toward me just a little bit. Okay. Oh, it looks great. It looks great. Hand for that. How do you feel, Jerry? I feel like I'm at Motel 6 with a strange woman. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put this piece of chalk in your mouth. Okay. On top of this chalk, piece of chalk, I'm gonna put a ball. Okay. On top of these chalks over here, I'm gonna put another ball, the cue ball. Yes. Then I'm gonna pocket the, the ball that I'm putting on top of the chalk in that corner pocket. Okay. I need you to hold your breath, right. close your eyes, yes. and hope. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. You don't want me to chew the chalk. I don't want you to chew the chalk. Don't chew the chalk. I need you to come over just a hair this way. Okay, right there. Perfect, beautiful. Okay. Now you're gonna feel this. I hope so. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> My objective is to prevent bloodshed, okay? Okay. Okay, I need you to hold the chalk between your teeth. Close your mouth around the chalk. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, put the nine right here. I need you to hold real still. I might keep him there for a minute here before we... Okay, Jerry. Best thing you can do is to close your eyes. Put your mouth around the chalk. Trust me. Just like that. Lady of Magic, Melinda, Julius La Rosa, Natalie Cole, and much more is the national chairman of Muscovite Distance Association, Jerry Lewis. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our uh, 12th, what hour? Tw we're in the 12th, huh? Uh, we had Crest as a sponsor. I don't know what happened. They are no longer with us. And uh, <laughs> that's just the way it is. A wonderful actor, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Bosley. Please watch the monitors. Jerry, one of the most beautiful sounds that we will hear in this 21 and a half hours is the sound that we're about to hear now. It's time for a timp. Timpani. All right. Yeah, we're hey. going to make it, a, make it a 10. Make it a 10. Do it for me. Make it a 10. Oh. Yes, sir. You bet.
greatest singers that have ever performed in show business, and I'm delighted to introduce him, my friend, Julius La Rosa, right here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm a singer, I work at night. I stand in front of you and hold my notes up to the light. I tune up all my secrets, hang them on my voice. I have no other talent, I have no other choice. I am a singer, I do the ballads and I do the blues. And you know, no matter what, I'll sing a song you may choose. I step inside my feelings, spread my story out. Then, when the lyric calls me, it proves without a doubt I am a singer. I remember every melody that ever came my way. From last night's solo concert to my part in a high school play. I remember every songbook I leaf through page by page. And how I grew to love you when I got used to the stage. I'm a singer. I sing your song. I bring the words to life and keep the beat where it belongs. I work for your attention, I wait for your applause. You know me by my music and I need your love because I'm a singer. I am a singer, I sing your song. And I bring the words to life, keep the beat where it belongs. I work for your attention and I wait for your applause. You know me by my music and I need your love because I'm a singer. I am a singer. Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. Thank you. I have a Rodgers and Hammerstein song to do in a moment, but before that, I would love to share uh, a story I was recently reminded of, and by recently, just several days ago. Uh, I was a big Brooklyn Dodger fan, and then when the Dodgers came to Los Angeles, I kind of lost heart, except for the fact that Gil Hodges, whom I had met in Brooklyn, and we weren't friends, but we were people who knew each other, and apparently there was a nice thing between us. Uh, after uh, Gil stopped playing, and then they went to Washington, now he comes back to the Mets, and he's the manager of the Mets. And one of the most tender moments I have ever witnessed, I was, I was visiting with him before one of the ball games, and a little girl with, you know, her legs, uh, with the, you know what I'm talking, in her mother's arms, is escorted down the aisle to the manager's, uh, manager's seats next to the dugout. And Gil, of course, saw her, and he went over, and how are you, sweetheart, ba 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 Now the little girl says to Gil, you know, Mr. Hodges, I pray for you. And Gil looked at her and said, sweetheart, root for me. Pray for Jerry Lewis. He's doing something for you. Isn't that a wonderful story? Isn't that a wonderful? It tells you something about Gil Hodges, and it tells you something about Jerry Lewis. God bless him. I love you. We have one more song. It's a terrific old Rodgers and, ha Rogers and Hammerstein song. We do it a little differently than the way it was written, but it gives me a chance to play with the words. Joseph, where are we? It's a ga 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 da, 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 da. Don't throw bouquets at me 
Don't please my folks too much Don't laugh at my jokes too much People will say we're in love Don't sigh and gaze at me Your sighs, they're so like mine Those eyes mustn't glow like mine People will say we're in love Don't start collecting things Give me my rose and my glove Sweetheart, they're suspecting things People will say we're in love Now don't praise my charm too much Don't look so vain with me Don't stand in the rain with me People will say we're in love And don't take my arm too much Don't keep your hand in mind Your hand feels so grand in mind People say we're in love Don't dance all night with me Till the stars fade from above They will see it's all right with me People will say People will say People will say We're in love We're in love We're in love Julie La Rosa, ladies and gentlemen Maybe one in three Thank you, Julie. Thanks. Casey. To the Emro Marketing Serve. Marketing. Emro Marketing. Yeah, well, give me a break. I, you know, I'm 65 years old. You're holding the cards. <laughs> and if you, you know, if you don't move them fast enough, <laughs> you know, I look like an idiot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, now this wire is getting caught with that wire, and now <laughs> Sam doesn't know which way to turn, right? Oh! No, it's okay. I'm all right. I, it, I have these two holes in the bottom. It's, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, the Emro market. <laughs> Swing it again, Sam. Get him on his side. Scared the hell out of you, didn't I? That's good at this hour. Wake everybody up. A little wake-up music. Hey, Louie, is my band there? Yeah, open it up. Open it up. We need a little excitement. It's getting tired in here. Come on, open the curtain. Bring the band down. Bring the band down. Bring them down, Jack. <laughs> Come on, here we go. We're going to have some fun. Take April up, and we will do some... A little excitement, just to get our energy going, because we, we need a little energy going. Be my lunch.
One, one more time. Conductor, conductor, no, no, don't leave, don't leave, I need you. Order a temp, order a temp, and roll it. Yeah! Woo! 11, 11 million, 9,523, beautiful. Now, you folks at home have a chance to get involved. You have the power to help make dreams come true. Use your Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover Card. Please have your card handy when you call the number on your screen or 1-800-FIGHT-MD. Jerry, that was wonderful. Thank you, I always Ed. look forward to that. How about a hand for my band? Is that a yeah. band? They've been playing 12 hours. The Lou Brown... Jack Eglass Orchestra. Get up, Martin. God damn
And here's the regal lady herself, Ms. Della Reese. How are you, darling? You do something to me, something that simply mystifies me. Tell me, why should it be? You have the power to hypnotize me. Let me live neath your spell. Do, do that voodoo that you do so well. Because you do something to me that nobody else can do. I get no kick. From champagne, mere alcohol, it doesn't thrill me at all. So tell me, why should it be true? I get a kick out of you. I get no kick from cocaine. I'm sure that if I took even one sniff, that would bore me terrifically Oh, but I get a kick out of you I get a kick every time I see you Standing there before me I get a kick, though it's clear to see That you obviously do not adore me Some women get a kick Flying round and round and round in a plane Flying too high 
with some guy in the sky. That's my idea of having nothing to do. Oh, but I get a kick. You give me a boost. I get a kick out of you. What is this thing called love? Oh, this funny thing called love. And tell me who can solve this great mystery. What I want to know is why it always makes a fool of me. You see, I saw you there one wonderful day. And then you took my heart, but you threw it away. And now I ask the Lord up in heaven above, what is this thing called love? It was just one of those things just one of those crazy things it was one of those bells you know the kind that every now and then will ring it was just one of those things it was just one of those nights but I must admit, oh, you took me on a fabulous flight, a trip to the moon. We just soared on gossamer wings. It was just one of those things. If we thought a little bit, I mean, uh, about the end of it, when we started painting this town We'd have been aware That this love affair Was too hot Not to cool down And so goodbye, my dear And amen But you know I do hope that we meet, I mean, like every now and then. You are great fun, but this, this is just one of those things. It was just one of those things, just one of those crazy flames. It was kind of ever, every now and again, we'll ring what it was, what it was was one of those things, it was just one of those nights. But I'll tell the truth, it was a fabulous flight. Trip to the moon on the gossamer waves. Just one of those things, if we thought a little bit, a bit, a bit, I mean about the end of it. When we started painting this town, we'd have been aware. This love of love was too hot not to cool down. Thank you, Della. Beautiful as always. Thank you, Della. I'm darling. going to spin you around, Della, because we have to see the uh, pledge board. You want me to spin you? There you go, baby. Good luck with Red Fox, the new season, all right? Thank you, Della, my darling. I love you. Now we're going to try something very magical a temp as our turntable is spinning. Look at this. Here comes the pledge board. We Roll could, it. We could get a number that uh, goes Roll it. up to... There it is. Yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah, I like that.
You bet I'm nervous. Well, when I hear you, when I hear you, are you, you excited? Am I excited when Let's you're going to symphony? Yes. When Let's you roll it. When you speak to it. me, yes. Anytime you speak to me, I get excited. Nineteen. Now how did you? Ninety-one. Keep it coming, please. You can interrupt me any time you want, Big Ed. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, we have so many marvelous people that perform on this program. And the people that perform, I think it's terribly important to mention that so many people that perform on this program do not just walk from the lobby of the hotel and come up to the studio. So many of these performers that come here come from their own shows, come from a long trip on an airplane. They have conversations that continue from the airplane here in the studio. And they take trips, and an awful lot of performers have traveled all day from all over the country to be with us here tonight. The group that I'm about to introduce are quieter now than they were before. <laughs> but they're getting raised from standing room only audiences in Los Angeles and New York. Is the show that has been called a pure musical celebration. Please watch us as we bring you a scene from Sarafina. Okay, kids, okay, 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 okay. We have to begin the day with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven. One, two, three, four. Our Father, which art in heaven, yes. hallowed be thy name. Come on. Thy kingdom come, See. thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Woo! Our trespasses as we forgive 
to these voices. And uh, hey, did you hear that? Wonderful. Very nice. Thank you, Serafina. Weren't they great, huh? Just wonderful. Thank you. There you go. Welcome back. We are live from Las Vegas. This is the 1991 MDA Jerry Lewis Labor Day Telethon. Here to bring you Vic Damone, John Dankworth, and Cleo Lane, boxing champion Thomas Hearn, and much more is the national chairman of the Muscular Dystrophy Association, Jerry Lewis. Before you say another word, Timpani, roll it. <laughs> Before I say another word, I never even said, make it 21. That's, That's it. nice. That's the funniest. Before you say another word, I was about to breathe. He has also been one of maybe three singers in the world. That's considered by all singers, the singer's singer, who makes sounds like a magnificent instrument. And I'm delighted that he's my friend, Mr. Vic Damone. I love you. Without a song, the day would never end Without a song The road would never bend When things go wrong A man ain't got a friend Without a song Yeah, let me hear That field of corn would never see a plow That field of corn Would be deserted now A man is born But he's no good nor how Without a song Let me hear I got my troubles and woe but sure as I know, the Jordan will roll I'll get along as long as a song Strong in my soul, I'll never know What makes the rain to fall I'll never know What makes the grass so tall I only know there ain't no love at all, yeah, without a song, yeah. I got my troubles and woe, but sure as I know, Jordan will roll. I'll get along as long as a song is strong. In my soul, my soul, I'll never know what makes the rain to fall. I'll never know what makes the grass so tall. I only know there ain't no love at all. Without a song 
without a song without a song Jerry, just for you, I swear I haven't sung this early since I was 18. It's 10 years ago. Yeah, but you, you sung almost perfect. Almost. <laughs> almost. almost but I'm trying. <laughs> oh, gosh. I just, I'm so thrilled being here. I, I just, uh, I want to sing my heart out for you. Can I just give this little guy one little kiss on the cheek? He Look will love it, Vic. Would you, would you give me, just give me one little kiss on the cheek. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you all. Gosh. I like the one you picked, the one that stayed in the rain and his hair got rusty. <laughs> <laughs> I see trees of green, red roses too. Watch them bloom. For you and I think to myself huh, what a wonderful world I see skies of blue clouds of whites bright sunny days dark sacred nights and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors in a rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands saying, how do you do? They're really saying, hey, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They learn so much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, What a wonderful world Yes, yes, I think to myself What a wonderful world The colors in a rainbow So pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people passing by I say friends shaking hands saying how do you do they're really saying I love you I hear babies cry I watch them grow they'll learn so much more I think, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, yes, I think to myself, I say to myself, yeah, I shout to myself, what Did I lie to you? Did I lie? Did I lie? Vic Would DeMone. You lie? Would I lie? Thank you, Vic. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Vic. Nice job. Jerry, you wanted more frequency, my interruptions? Yes. Here's another one. Tiffany! How, how could they be Roll in the... it! 
What are you talking about? It's only two. Watch it. Oh, then it'll be 22. I know already. Oh, yeah. I'll accept that. I accept that. 85. Isn't that nice? I'm very reasonable. I'm a reasonable man. I accept that. Come on, Tom. Come on up here, Tommy. Come on. Come as he wants you up there. Come on. Come on, Tom. Don't be scared. Come on. Come on, Tom. He's getting his gloves on. Good gloves on, sweetheart. I've been hitting the loader belt so many times, I got cauliflower knees. Jay, you know what? I'm so confident that I can beat you. I'm not gonna take off my coat, okay? Well, we're, uh, uh, we're not, uh, I mean, we're not gonna fool around or anything uh, like that. I mean, you're not gonna do no real hitting because, you know, this is just a show. And I love you, God bless you, your majesty. You know what I mean? I never figured on that one, huh? Watch this. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> no! Are you crazy, Tommy? I love you too, Jerry. I love you too, Tommy. <laughs> oh, you. God. That was so close. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you know that from every, from every phase of our industry, theatrical, performers, athletes such as Tommy Hearns, when we say to them, the kids would love to meet you, and then Tommy, who wasn't even in the vicinity, made his way to Las Vegas from either Detroit or New York to be with us but for five minutes. But he knew that he brought a special something to my kids. And that's what makes champions. For this two or three quick minutes, he came across the country for my kids to see what a champion really looks like. Mr. Tommy Hearns. We're going to New York. We want to take you to New York because New York, New York is there and it should be had for people to be taken to. What did I just say? Who wrote this? I want you to meet one of the world's most celebrated concert trumpet players. Please welcome the inimitable Wynton Marsalis, ladies and gentlemen.
best thing I can say about our next guest is sit back, relax, and listen to one of America's finest singers, my good friend, Mr. Mel Torme, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jerry has asked me to do some scat on the show tonight. Now, you know, when I started singing scat, ladies and gentlemen, this is back in 1907, uh, I must tell you that life was simpler. It was a simpler America, a kinder, gentler America. And the guys would set me up, guys like John Corleone at the piano, Mr. John Lightham on bass, Mr. Donny Osborne at the drums. Great trio. And I would come out and sing whatever came to mind, like, this. So easy, honest to God, nothing to it. But life got, in our country, got more complicated. I had to learn to specialize and to sing special kinds of scat for special kinds of people. For instance, when I roll up to the Warner Brothers studio in Burbank, as I do many times during the years, and walk into stage nine to prepare to do a night court with Harry Anderson, <laughs> every time Harry's standing there like a traffic cop, he holds his hand up and he says, you don't put one more foot on this stage until you sing some of my special kind of scat. Now, Harry is of Swedish descent. So when I sing scat for Harry Anderson, it comes out like this. Hornske volde, lorle bol, leili folde, molde, surde, vitte, 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 hurdle bol, halukke, plukke, vikke, plede, hurdle horsk, le main dorle, hurdle bol, lave, dabba, sabba, lave, hurdle, hurdle, bol, siddle, hoppa, do, 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 it's ridiculous, I tell you. Look out now, one, two, one, two, three. Truth of the matter is that scat singing is an adjunct of jazz, as we all know. When you talk about scat singing, you have to talk about the one person on the planet who does it better than anybody. They call her the first lady of song. I call her the high priestess of song. She could do no wrong. She could do no wrong. She's been the greatest in the land since she sang with Chick Webb's band. I love her, I love her, I tell you people I love her. Sweet and lovely Ella be good. Whoa, Ella, Ella be good to me. Our kind of music is sometimes misunderstood. Oh, Ella, 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 you're so good for me. Some say jazz isn't sensible, but the way she sings it makes it comprehensible. Here's a bow to the great first lady of song. Ella Fitzgerald can do no wrong, like when she goes. Dixieland, that's jazz. Bebop, that's jazz. Swing bands, that's jazz. That's jazz. My kind of jazz. Ella's kind of jazz. Hop it over to the needle. Hop it over to the needle. Do it. 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 
Got any bebop fans in the audience tonight at all? Yeah, I got some raised hands. Listen closely, you'll understand every single syllable. Spadina, spadina, spadoo doo da hina, hip, hip, si doo ba doo da ul ya oop and flu ba doo da si ba oot and dee gadoot and doo ya doo da, ha doo ya doo da, ha doo ya doo da, ha doo Any Jewish bebop fans in the audience? <laughs> this is for you. He did a lumbling bulb, big Satan, hoy like moitens oil. Hemi, hemi, stoidel, zoo, doo ga boing, doing salt and heil. Hush, push, noidel, zush, zeedle, deedle, deedle, dum. If I were a rich man, what am I doing? Put a wee boob a doo 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 boob a doo
baby, let me take your hand. Well, all right. Okay. You win. Well, all right. Okay. You win. If I'm gonna be your man. Baby, let me take your hand. All right. Okay. You're a winner if you send money, I promise you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for Thank coming. You, I know how far you came to get here. Let's hear it for Mr. <laughs> Joe Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Give what? me a timpani. Give me a timpani. The big turn number. It. Four, turn it. Turn it. Four. Let's turn see it. that four. I need it. I want it. I really would appreciate. Yeah! All right. Looking good. The trouble with certain Looking performers good. is you don't know how to introduce them. So what you really have to do is be as simple as you possibly can. Ladies and gentlemen, an exciting lady and a dear friend of mine for a long time, please welcome Liza Minnelli. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start, I'd like to introduce Dick Sarpala, Bill Lavornia, and because I've been singing outside for the last three nights and truly sound a little bit like Bert Lahr on some of the high notes, <laughs> I, thought, I asked one of the finest performers and the best singers I know to come out from New York and help me, Mr. Billy Stritch. <laughs> okay, right? Somebody loves me, I wonder who, I wonder who he can be. Somebody loves me, I wish I knew who he can be worries me. For every boy that passes by, I shout, hey, Maybe you were meant to be my loving baby. Maybe somebody loves me. I wonder who. Maybe it's you. feeling that beneath the little halo on your noble head there lies a thought or two the devil might be interested to know you're like the finish of a novel that i'll finally have to take to bed you fascinate me so Christopher Columbus when I'm near enough to contemplate Somebody loves me The sweet geography descending from your eyebrow to your toes I wonder who The possibilities are more than I can possibly enumerate Somebody loves me That's why you fascinate me so So sermonize and preach to me your sanctimonious little speech to tell me. I look at you and suddenly something in your eyes I see. Soon the influencing me. It's that old devil moon that you stole from the skies. It's that Romance, too hot to handle. Stars in the night, blazing their lights, can't hold a candle. Yeah. Hey, to your razzle dazzle, you got me flying high and wide on a magic 
carpet ride Full of butterflies inside with a Z. That's my Liza with a Z. Thank you, Liza. <laughs> to continue the tribute. You can leave all that. For me and Sammy, it was like a friendship ought to be. So happy when the other got ahead. But even though while he was here, I showed how much I really cared. I feel that I have left so much unsaid. If I could see you now there's so much i would say like how i think about you only every day we went through times together tender and rough but 40 years with you just weren't enough i keep remembering what only you could do the wonderful, fantastic magic that was you. He'd start to move, really grew. Who but he could improve what is known as the birth of the blue. And when he'd sing, he would bring chills and thrills. Bells would ring. He invented the birth of the blues. He started as a kid, did what he did, though life was demanding. Never was a doubt, talent will out, and he was outstanding. When he took the spotlight, it became the sun. No one ever cast a spell the way that he could. He made us feel good. He made us feel good. He made us feel good cause he always gave his love and made the world seem right. 
and made the world seem right. He made the world a better place while he was here. Gave the world a warm embrace, a smile, a tear. All the world is in his debt. You and I will not forget the memories we can't erase. He lived his life with style and grace. And Sammy, you have made the world a better place because of you. Our world became a better place. Thank you all so much. He's here, he's with us, his spirit moves us. He'll always be with me. Anytime I go on a stage, we will always be together. Would you like a timpani now? I would, I would, why not? In Sammy's honor, in his memory, in his name, here is this new total, look at this. What do you want to do, Lee? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. When will we come back? Shortly. <laughs> On a diet no, food. why don't On we tell diet. the networks to let us go for 15 minutes, and we'll come back. Come back to us in 15 minutes, okay. because we got a lot to do yet in a short amount of time. So the Love Network, please, come back in 15 minutes, and we'll all be here to wrap it up. God willing, it'll be a winner. Okay? Play it. Here we go. Rude on a moment like this. I hear a timpani. And look oh. at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give Wayne something to walk on, man. He'll walk on this. Yeah. Roll yeah. It. Yeah. Do it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. The next time you see my face close to yours, we'll be over that dollar over the last year's tote. What was the last year again? 44 million? 44 million. Right. 172,186 was last year. Expect a visit from the big guy in a minute. I'm looking forward <laughs> yeah, to okay. it. Meanwhile, when you talk about big guy, there ain't anybody bigger in our racket. When he walks out on the stage, he brings with him the knowledge and the talent of showmanship, the likes of which you'll never see in this lifetime again, our good friend Wayne Newton, right here. Look at this group.
You know, it's awfully easy to procrastinate. Time is running out. I know if all of us could wave a magic wand and make this dreaded disease go away, we would. Well, you can by going to your telephone and making a pledge right now. Do it now because now is when it counts. I'd like to dedicate this song to all of you individually and certainly collectively. It sounds like this. <laughs> Must be lights burning brighter somewhere. Soft winds of promise that will blow away the doubts and fears. If I can dream of a better land where all my brothers will care and hand hands tell me why, 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 why can my dreams come true? Tell me why. There must be peace. Standing somewhere, soft winds of promise that will blow away the doubts and fears. If I can dream of a better land, where all my brothers will care and tell me why, 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 why can't that sun? Man has a strength to dream. 
the question And I know that the answers, answers gonna come Somehow I'm there in the dark There's a beckoning candle While I can think, while I can talk While I can stand, while I can walk While I can dream Please let my the telephones thank you and God bless Gentlemen, are you going to interrupt me? Yes. You are. Okay. I just, I, you know what it is? It's a funny thing. I, we've been working, you know, two days now, and I haven't had a chance to come over to your side and talk to you. I'm glad. I'm, Hi, Jer. Hi, Big Ed. Remember what I said? What? The next time my face gets close to yours, it could be important. We always try to get one dollar more than we did last year, and sometimes I make a mistake. Yes. I get a little more. It can happen more. to anybody. I, I hope let's have not. a Tiffany and let's roll this. I want to see if you know exactly what you're 44 doing. Forty-four million. Two hundred and thirteen thousand two hundred and seventy-three. Get it. Thank you, Ed. Yeah, we did it. We did it. It's three minutes to three here in Las Vegas, three minutes to six. We're in critical time. We are running out of time, to be perfectly honest with you. We have a love network that has responsibilities, and we must be off the air and out of here, hopefully, by 316 or 317. But there's a lady that came here to be on this program. And if this lady will just give me a couple of minutes of her time for you to enjoy being in the presence with an Academy Award winner, please welcome Whoopi Goldberg. It's, it's, it borders on ludicrous to ask this lady to come here all of this way, put herself out for my kids, an Academy Award winner, and then you get her here and you say, we have to hurry up. And I'll be brief. I'm here because for many, many years, I watched this telethon and I watched what one person could do. And I decided that if that one person ever asked me, that I would come and join and encourage people of the United States who are watching, who watch every year to go into their pockets and help. So if it takes one second or 10 seconds, I would have walked across broken glass to come and be here with you. It's a pretty nice endorsement, I would say. Thank you, Whoopi. Thank you. Thank you. For coming. Oh, no, no. Thank you for understanding. Thank you. Thanking, thank you for bringing your presence to this stage and enhancing this program. 
thank you for all the good stuff you've done that made us all so happy for so long. And what a future you have. And what a future we have in the joy that you're going to bring us. Thanks. We love you, Whoopi Goldberg. Thank you. Thank you. Is that some lady? Is that a lady? Before we say thanks to all of you along the Love Network, please help me send our appreciation to the very special hosts in New York. We're so grateful to John Tesh, Ed Fry, Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Goodbye, New York, and thank you, New York, for being such, such a class act. We love you. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, John. Thank, thank you, Jerry. Sally. Thank, thank you, Ed. Thank you, Jerry. Thank, thank you, you for the Jerry. privilege. We love you, Jerry. Guys. We love you back. And in Los Angeles, once again, we are so deeply grateful for all the work by so many generous people behind and in front of the cameras. Especially, please join me in thanking my dear friend and special host, Norm Crosby, in Los Angeles. Did you call I always me? like to hear the sound of drums. Give him a timpani. Whoa. I would, now, see, now I'm, now I'm excited. Now I am really excited. Oh, dear God, yeah! I would like Lou Brown to turn around and let the audience see my conductor for 41 years has never done a better job than he did this day. And the Lou Brown Orchestra. Uh, thank you. My drummer, Chiz Harris. My producer, Lee Miller, who's about the best anybody could ever have yeah. and how lucky I am that I got him. Eddie Foy, who's probably the best casting director and the most caring man who put this show together with love and great ability. And my Dina, of course. And my first time director, Clay Jacobson, who did the kind of a job that all directors who've been in the business for 20 years can take some lessons from. Yeah. Clay Jacobson, in the booth. Thank you, Thank you, Clay. I'm proud of you, very proud of you. To Bob Ross and Jerry Weinberg, my entire MDA staff, all of those super people who have worked so hard all year with me. And a memory of a lady that's not with us anymore because she got too old to work, so she retired. But to Janet, we miss you and we love you. And we have thought about you throughout all of these hours. And it's seven minutes after the hour. We are okay along the Love Network as long as we get out at 3.15 so that they can take care of their responsibilities. But before I conclude, I want you to know the kind of strength I had on this stage tonight. Ed McMahon is the best quarterback in the world. Casey Kasem is the absolute infinite.
And we finally got some class on this program. We got Lisa Gibbon. Yeah. Slow. Then I must be very careful not to omit Skip and Dave and David and Sam and Lenny and Bill and John and all my cameramen and all the technicians, Paul, my sound man, all of the guys on the floor, all of these technicians that worked with a feeling like they really had to do the best they've ever done. I have never felt such comfort. I've never felt so embraced by a group of people who could easily come here and be a cameraman and it's a gig and he gets paid. Not these guys. They came and they rooted for me. They worked for me. They pushed me. They drove me. And they made this work. The best technical crew any man could ever be lucky enough to work with. Thank you all. <laughs> Leonard, uh, not too soon. Okay. Take the lights down. Let it be slow, one. <laughs> when you walk through a storm, keep your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm is a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on through the wind, walk on through the rain. Though your dreams be tossed and blown Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart And you'll never, never walk alone Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never, no, you'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone. Thank you, good night. God bless you.